Yes. Some new developments coming to light in a newly released taped phone call involving a Valley Honor killing case. ABC 15's Corey Rangel listened to this call. And Corey, the tapes reveal police had to protect the victim even in the hospital from her own family. Katie, the victim's own father, ran her over with his car and then took off. In the early stages of the investigation, the call shows police couldn't trust anyone and kept the daughter's location guarded. In, until he is located, we're not mentioning where she's at. I want to see her. Well, yeah, that's not possible at this point. Worried about Noor Al-Maliki's safety, Peoria police would not even tell her own mother where she was at. Why? I'm a danger? Huh? Well, you could be. Police recorded this phone call with Noor's mother shortly after her husband ran over their daughter and her boyfriend's mother. At one point during the call, Noor's mother defended her husband's actions. Your daughter is about close to dying. Close to dying? Yes, she's in critical okay. condition. Tell her, thank you, Amel. Thank you. That's what she needs. She needs to protect this family. That's what we need. You're a sick individual. With her husband still on the run, police say those comments justify them guarding Noor's location from her family, despite repeated pleas from Noor's mother asking to see her daughter. I want to see my daughter. You just sat there and, and told me that everything that happened to them was okay. And now you all of a sudden you have concern for your daughter. No. And Noor died a short time after being hit. After fleeing the country, Noor's father was caught and convicted of second degree murder. He was sentenced to more than 30 years in prison. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. It's Lavender here. And today I'm going to be doing a, another true crime video. Today I'm doing the murder honor killing of Noor Al Minky. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. I decided to do this because I really feel like there needs to be more light shed on um, victims of honor killings because this is a huge problem in the Middle East and among like Islam in general. So yeah, let's get started into this true crime video. So here we go. So a background of the victim. Nor was the firstborn of Faya and Salem of seven children. The family had moved to the United States from Iraq when Nor was four. Nor was assimilated into American culture already, but kept in touch with her Iraqi roots. She was fluent in Arabic and in English, but she had moved away from her parents in early 2009. This is not the first time this, ha this has happened. After another blow-up and fight over how she was living her life, the American-like li lifestyle and fashion, she wore pants, jeans, makeup, she had boyfriends, modeling photos, her independence, and the West values, as they would say. The clashes escalated in 2008 after Noor, then 18, left her marriage to an older cousin in Iraq. Her father had arranged it because arranged marriages are really common in the religion of Islam and the culture, and returned to the Phoenix area in Arizona. Noor sent a text message from inside the Arizona Department of Economic Security office. Noor came along to help translate and help her boyfriend's mother get her benefits. Noor's father hated the fact that she lived with her boyfriend, Amal, and was raged over this fact. In Islam, a man's daughters are his property in that culture. And what Noor was doing was straying from Islam and her father's values, which is a dishonor in the religion and traditions of Islam. Noor had made it clear she would not be a slave or, an, or a puppet to her father's Islamic values. Noor texted her... Um, Dude, she wrote at 1.06 p.m. last October 20th, my dad is here at the welfare office. She hadn't seen her father in months since moving out of the family home in Glendale. His presence alarmed her and shocked her. It was 85 degrees outside that day and Nora was thirsty. She wanted to go to the nearby Mexican restaurant just to get a cold drink because it was really hot outside. The pair started to walk across the parking lot. Amal saw a vehicle coming right at them. She can see Noor's dad behind the wheel, and the jeep smashed into the woman and ran them and hit them and ran them over. Noor was dragged along and left unconscious and bleeding. Amal suffered a broken pelvis, broken femur, bruises, but she remained conscious. The police later estimated that the SUV was moving at 30 miles per hour. Crime scene investigators later found hair and human tissue on the undercarriage of the front bumper of the jeep. Nor was buried alive, having suffered ma massive internal damage. 
Emma provided a possible motive for the crime. She said Nora's family were furious about Nora's current living arrangements and how she had became, become too Americanized. Um, her dad remained a fugitive as his daughter Nora was completely in a coma and later died. After he was arrested, he, he said about his daughter, If I wanted to try to kill my daughter, why would I kill my daughter with a vehicle when I can go get a gun? He asked. He insisted that he loved his daughter Nora and also said his daughter shouldn't have become so Americanized. And her dad is pleaded innocent and he was later sentenced to 16 years in prison for second degree murder and 15 years for aggravated assault. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye guys, see you next video.